question too mark. Soon. It's too got soon. to be. It's got to be Thierry. Even though Alexis has done absolutely fantastic, and we can't believe how well he's done. It's got to be Thierry. So I suppose Ian is right, but you never know. If Alexis yeah. can carry on the way he's going, who knows? Records, so are, records are going to go, time. Absolutely. absolutely. So well, let's just say, fast forward to five years' time. Yes. Who, and I ask you the same question. Yeah. What do you think your answer will be then? Wow. The problem, well, I don't think anyone can eclipse Thierry. I think they'll be on the, hopefully on the same level, but I don't think yeah. anyone's going to eclipse Thierry. For what he's done, it was just absolutely amazing. It's, it's incredible. I mean, he's a top goal scorer. He even beat unbelievable Ian. That's how good he was. You know, so, mixed reviews there. Um, you know. Claude, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know how I feel about uh, Sanchez. I think he's better than what? Betting they haven't sex watching him play. <laughs> 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 you haven't seen the women I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually got some photos. <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, Claude uh, genuinely just shit himself. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, the it's a whole one of jokes because uh, Thierry has been a legend for years and Alexis has just joined us. But. I'll make it. Oh, I don't know. I can't really. I can't call it. I can't call it. Really. You've got to. You've got to call it. I've got to go for him. I'm going to go for Henri. Henri. You have to. First two. I've got a feeling you're going to say exactly the same thing. Well, I think that it's unfair because I don't think that Alexis has been there long enough. But somebody to come in for the, the price tag he's coming for and hit the ground like he has and really giving the Arsenal fans a boost that Arsenal fans have needed for many years since Thierry scored against Leeds in the FA Cup. He's been absolutely fantastic. It's an unfair question but you've got to go with the King because he's a King. It's an unfair question but have you seen anyone still the hearts of the Arsenal fans since Henri? The way Sanchez has come in and people well, I've been so gushing about him and, you know, the fact that we're even asking this question. Well, the thing about it is, Lloyd, if you are going to steal a heart of Arsenal fans, the mere fact that Sanchez, the way he plays with his endeavour and his, he just does not stop working and he's got, he's got great skills, he's going to be the person that's going to do it. He's going to steal hearts because he's exactly what the fans need right now. Okay, so it's a moment. It's three minutes from me. Let's come back in five years and see what happens. Um, so, uh, we've got there's rumours going around uh, that Akpom, uh, Wigan and Sunderland, quite keen to take you out after seeing his performance, even for the short time that he came on yesterday against Villa. Uh, would you like to see him go? Claude, would you like to see Akpom? Or would you keep him? No, I think, I think the guy's got a lot of potential. I watched him yesterday. All he needed yesterday was a goal. It's a shame he never scored yesterday because. Uh, He's got so much potential, I'd like him to stay. I think we can tie him down. Yeah. Time, time down. Absolutely, yeah, I concur. I mean, I'm lucky enough to know Tudor to chat to, and he's very, very humble, he's very, very down to earth, and we hope he stays. I mean, we can understand the predicament he is in, but I think to him, if I could speak to Tudor, I'd say, you have to be patient. I mean, you're a massive club. Yeah. You know, and if all the strikers are fit, you aren't going to play. But he wants some first team experience for what, what he's getting. But I think he just needs a pleasure because he's only 19. Yeah. But he's got fantastic potential. So we're hoping he will stay because he's shown support that he's got hoping that then. Absolutely. Well, he's got, he's got a great family network behind him, you know. Like I said, he's very humble, very down to earth, he's very approachable. You can talk to him and he's cool, he will talk to you, you know. Just hoping. But. You know, it's just, um, I think he's seeing other players and thinking that it's time for him to step in the first time. I remember a few years ago, we, um, I don't know what happened, but we met uh, quite uh, Andy Cole. Uh, we let him go and he we went on to make the great things, you know. I don't want to make that mistake again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no. But, yeah, I don't know why he left, but I mean, he was... He went on the score, then he It's a gamble, isn't it? It's a gamble. That one obviously didn't pay off, but hopefully with this one. No, it is a gamble. Sorry to interrupt, but it's like anyone. You can't get every single player. There are going to be players who are going to lose, and players who are going to keep. You know, but we know how good Tuba is. Tuba's done very, very well. He's a bit like Hector. We've seen Hector rise from 121, and I worked on the 21 regularly. And you could see he's too good to play for them, but you've also got to be lucky, you've got to be patient, because Carl's gone on loan to West Ham, 
yeah. you know, you know, a mad team could push his injuries. So Hector's coming and taking his chance. Fair enough. Moving on. And I've got a thing you quite like him. Chuba. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Chuba's yeah. cool. And Hector. And I call my players. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fan, mate. You're a fan. Absolutely. I want to know you. <laughs> the one, the optimism the one, the one, the one. I'm sorry, I'm such a bad man for last one I think. Oh, what a bad man am I? Okay, it's all kicking off. Uh, one word answer, not yes or no, but I need you any word. Are you upset about Snowdo going? What, well, unknown? Yeah. No, 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 I think no, he's... You're not going to use the word now, one word. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll just move on. Claude, do you want to play the game? He does what he wants! He does what he wants! So no go. Happy? Not happy? Don't say yes or no? No comment. Still have the word no. He needs it. He needs it. He needs it. If I were to tell you with um, with Sonogo, and what I saw of Chuba when he came on the other day, I saw more out of Chuba in that little um, spell than I saw out of yeah. any time that Sonogo has been there so far. So it's, it's, a really, it's a really strange signing for me. Um, we're going to go, this is the last question of this section, and we're going to go, uh, start with you, so. Um, this is from uh, at Outgunned, uh, this is your question. Are you here at Outgunned? Yeah. Big time. Uh, so, Ty, favourite Arsenal moment? Wow. Well, you. you know what, there's so many in here. I mean, there's the Vincible team, which was unbelievable. I mean, if anyone had said to us at the start of the season, you're going to win the league of one hundred, go on <laughs> you never would have ever believed them. But, you know, I mean, I've, I've been lucky enough to see a lot of things. You know, I've seen us win the league at Old Trafford. I've seen us win the league at one hundred, you know, and I've seen the league at Wembley Box. It's a moment, and I wasn't there, it's got to be all time favourite moment if I'm honest and I have been. Nothing can beat Anfield 89. Absolutely Nothing. right. Hang on. Hang on. That was incredible. Right. Absolutely right. That was incredible. That was incredible. And the funny thing was, I was at home, much. I wasn't even going to games. No, no. But I mean, because to actually, when Michael scored, Thomas scored. I mean, what could you do? It was, it was surreal. It was, it was like a dream. It was like a dream now, actually. It was like a dream then. So. It's got to be Anfield 89 because I don't think anything will eclipse that ever. I don't think we've ever seen that again. So, you know, and as good as the Invisibles were, the Invisibles were incredible. It was a dream. Anfield 89 is probably my favourite option. You still dream about it now? Absolutely. Absolutely. I wish I could be there. If I could, if I could go back in time, I'd go, I'd go back to when my dad was a, was alive, God rest his soul. I'd go back to Anfield 89. You want to like the time machine or something? Yeah. No, what I was going to say is I've sat with, um, with, with the boys, like Vincent Lee Dixon, Royal Castle, yeah. Michael Tom Sorbonne, and they said that when I was in there at half time, and uh, before the game, George Graham actually said everything that was going to happen. You know, we're going at 1 0, we'll keep it tight, we'll nick a goal late on, and we'll win it. We need to win it 2 0. Everyone was saying that because I think there was a Wimbledon game that didn't go quite right. Because when my dear friend Rocky was playing, so I was watching it. I remember having six fosters. I had a chair right by the table, and I was watching it. I was thinking, this is, you know, what I mean, I'm just going to watch it and see how it goes. But in the end, Alan Smith scored the goal. Yeah. Michael missed the chance just before, as well. He missed a great chance before, and then when he scored it, it was just unbelievable. It was literally an unbelievable moment. At the time I was playing for Palace, it was. Amazing, it's easy to the for me. I think there should be a statue of that um, Michael Thomas. Yeah, moment, yeah, Michael the Thomas moment. That's the I agree, the yeah, it should be the um, So you say that's your... Easy, or easy, easy, yeah. Easy. So that's, that is your... I think Arsenal's, that's Arsenal's great, because that's when Arsenal announced themselves as a team which come in to challenge and be up amongst it, man. That was the time. George Graham took that team to that. Good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go a bit different. It's a great. It's a great. Night, it's great. It's my greatest. The league cup was something. Yeah, when we beat Tottenham in the semi-final. Liam Brady. No, 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 oh, no, 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 Rocky's gone. And we got the winner. The Tottenham fans were there celebrating Wembley. Oh, that's right. And if I can, I remember the previous game. Yeah, that was a. It was a two-legged thing. He went to another replay. Yeah. But in the half time of the uh, second leg, <laughs> yeah. they were announcing cup final ticket. Wow. Which was incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And it's incredible. We remember, and, we, yeah. and we got that. I mean, 
we go back and then in the, in the week pain, I'll never forget Rocky getting that winner. Yeah. And even Ian Allenson scored, because Ian Allenson <laughs> And that was a, one of my, my favourite moments. They were, so, they were celebrating when yeah. we were 15 yeah. minutes to go, yeah. and we scored two goals. And Beautiful. That was brilliant. Right. Beautiful. There you go. Lads, thank you very much for coming Thank up. you very uh, much, everyone. Thank you. Everyone else, keep, uh, keep tweeting in. It's at Labrooks. And also, remember the hashtag for the fans. And that's our goals for the Arsenal Legends. I think um, we need we do need a top a top level top class striker. I do mm. I, I do agree. And, and as much as I enjoyed Coughlin yesterday, I agree. Uh, as much as I enjoyed watching him, and I think he's going to have a dip. 